And here's the new table. Uh, forgive me, I got a print going for Buddy right now, but this is the new the new bench that the print NC will be going on. I uh, just kind of wrapped up the assembly here. So um, what I have here is a sheet of three quarter inch melamine up top and three quarter inch melamine on the bottom as well. And this is just simple two by four. I'm actually reusing the left and right uh, legs from the old enclosure. Uh, I did throw a brace on the side here, but I feel like the top and bottom shelves screwed to the frame is enough to uh, sturdy it up. So I got the light added up top here. Um, this will actually just be kind of an assembly table for now and I will eventually build the enclosure around this. So I won't build the uh, the walls in the top until I get to uh, after assembly make sure everything's working. So just for ease of uh, ease of use uh, that outlet's probably also going to get moved at some point as well. So this is what the new bench is going to look like and uh, we're going to get to assembling here soon. All right, just got the uh, the steel in from the garage. I gave it a quick coat of paint. I used this metallic gunmetal gray that I got at the local hardware store, and I think that's gonna look pretty nice with with this blue here. That uh, that's gonna pop pretty well. So just to give you an idea of what this will look like here, nice uh, nice fit. So this is gonna be our uh, just to give you an idea. This is gonna be our X, or I'm sorry, our Y axis rails. And our bolster is going to go through there. So you can kind of see what that's going to look like. And that blue and gray I think is going to look pretty nice once we get the machine all together. So just to give you another quick look at the steel beams here. Uh, again, this is a metallic gray that I got at the local hardware store. I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, it is steel color. I realize that. <laughs> but uh, we just want to keep things from rusting. So. And here we have it assembled. So I didn't get much footage of actually putting it together. Uh, the assembly guy does a pretty good job of laying things out, but I just wanted to kind of get focused here. You will see that I got my threaded holes here in the inside of the two by three tu uh, steel tube. So it, uh, it went together okay. So there is one thing to mention. Uh, you guys saw in the intro of the video, I used this uh, template here. And this is one of the, the template pieces that you put on the end. And you'll see me in the video, this is kind of learned from my mistake. The, uh, I use the center punch here to tap, to tap these. Well, you can see here, kind of hopefully, I have some wiggle room on this, uh, this opening here. So what I should have done was use a transfer punch. And I started doing this about halfway through. That way when you put this in here, it can't move around it literally just centers you there we go when you put this in here there's no wiggle room but when you use your center punch there is a little bit of wiggle room or maybe you're not you know perfectly per perpendicular so learn from my mistake use a transfer punch instead of a center punch here so other than that it went together pretty well uh, i already got the rear bearing blocks on here and uh, these are ones that are going to be supporting end stops so uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use max end stops yet, but the block is there, uh, ready to go if I need them. Um, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So I am still going on assembly here, and we're going to move to the next step as soon as we can. I'm not sure what that's going to be, but we are going to find out. Just kidding. I knew exactly what that was going to be. Uh, parts just showed up today. These are, well, I shouldn't say all the parts, but most of the mechanical parts here. Uh, what we got here is our, our uh, ball screws with our bearings, our uh, linear rails for all axes, the linear bearing blocks, and our cable chain all showed up today. The uh, last tracking info was updated like two days ago and it said Hong Kong, so for it to show up today was pretty awesome. I did get the AliExpress kit, so uh, for those that are interested in doing what I did, this is the AliExpress kit. Very impressed with some of this uh, some of this hardware here, it uh, it all appears to be pretty high quality. Um, that is probably a relevant term to a lot of you, but for a hobby machine here, this is going to be pretty 
pretty solid in my opinion, at least uh, at least so far. So things are, are looking pretty good here. And here is our bearing blocks as well. These are still sealed. I'm not going to bother opening them right now. But uh, we'll have to pack those with grease. So I've read, you know, we're just taking this one step at a time on the instructions and you guys are kind of along for the ride here. Uh, I did have to go ahead and just kind of mock up the uh, y-axis rail here just to see how it look, you know. So everything's looking pretty good. Um, I did go ahead and double check the measurements on the linear rails and ball screws that I bought. Uh, one of the Discord members recommended I do that. And uh, also just a quick shout out to the Discord community. Um, I will link them in the I'll link the channel in the description below, but they have been a huge help in, you know, answering all my dumb questions and helping me figure out, you know, the uh, electronics, all the little, you know, kind of random things that go along with a project like this. You don't just buy the kit and throw it together, but um, they've been a huge help, very supportive. They've, uh, you know, answered all my questions so far. So just a quick shout out to the Discord community. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. We, uh, we're we going to be waiting for parts to show up, and hopefully that'll be in the next uh, week or so. And we, uh, I still have to finish up my Z-plates, get those drilled and tapped, and uh, you know, stay tuned for more. We're going to be talking about you know, getting the, the rails mounted. We're going to be talking about VFDs, uh, spindle settings, all that stuff. So we're going to go through the whole process. I got a, a lot planned here to go over the electronics, the build, wiring, uh, Linux CNC, all of the above. So feel free to stay tuned and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.